Hey guys, so I'm here with Yetta, and we're at Titan Medical Center. Uh, I want to talk about some of the different therapies that you use, Yetta. Obviously, you're a sponsor athlete with Titan Medical Center, right? Yes. So she uses some of the therapies. So what therapies do you think you like the best? What are you using? How do you think it's helped you? Well, um, I'm currently taking Titan Complete, um, Hercules Potion, Glutathione okay. and ECA Stack Plus. Wow, nice. All right. All right. Yeah, I got a lot going on because I'm prepping, good. so it's helping me tremendously during my prep. Okay. So with the um, the Titan Complete, what I like about it is BCAAs. I get my mm. BCAAs, and it helps me with energy, mm -hmm. and it has the mix shot in there, yeah. so it also helps with fat burning properties, which is yeah. really awesome. Um, the Hercules Potion helps me get through my workouts, nice. helps me give me that muscle pump, and helps me focus during my workouts, and I don't have to worry about crashing. You know gotcha. how you take those pre-workouts and yep. it gives you all that energy makes you jittery and then you yep. get that nasty headache afterwards yep. not what hercules potion is awesome okay all right um eca eca CA plus yep. stack yep. plus yep. fat burner yeah um it's awesome i usually do my fasted cardio in the morning mm -hmm. to help mm -hmm. me just when i wake up at five in the morning and <laughs> it's early rising <laughs> yeah yeah and then that, that helps a lot to help me get through my workouts yep. because I just need it right now. Better than out. coffee better than those energy drinks totally. out there just, totally right okay cool clean energy focus no crash and granted my I work out for four hours a day so four i need hours it. and it helps me go and it keeps Ooh. me going on top of me working eight to ten hour shifts on top Dang. of it yeah and she's got kids so yes. i mean it's, it's not yeah. like you know it's just like oh it's just herself i mean you know she's got she's got her guy she's got her kids <laughs> she's got her job and she's got herself where she's got to do this hard training so yes. this is really cool so all right, so she's using those three. So you got your energy down, you got your pump recovery down, you got your MIG fat burning properties, BCAs, branched chain amino acids. And I got my immunity. Right? Okay, so Immunities. immunity. And that's that's really important right Yes, now. especially now because of COVID and also because I'm getting lower in body fat, my immune system is down. So right now I'm taking glutathione, which is really good to help me keep my immune system boosted to its optimum levels. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a super antioxidant, if you guys don't know what glutathione is. It's also for immunity and immune system boosting wherever you're at in life, whether you're training for a competition or you're just in daily life and you're going outside right now. Mm -hmm. You wanna you know, give yourself the best body defense you possibly can, so that's awesome. So those are, those are almost like the fantastic four here. Right? Totally. Because I mean, it. for me, I love Titan Complete. I take it in the mornings, Hercules Potion, obviously, before I train. Mm -hmm. My ECA I take in the morning, and it gives me energy all throughout the day for my training sessions and everything like that. Obviously, I'm working, got kids too. And glutathione is definitely a go to for me. I take it uh, intermuscularly and IV if I can get an IVs, if I have time to get an IV because it's been so busy. So yeah. that's really, really cool. So you've been seeing really good results? Oh, yes. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Blood work, I know that's been coming in key. How's blood work now looking? Oh, my blood work is really well. I get it done every six months, and right now I'm at the optimal levels where I need to be, and I want to keep it consistent, so I keep consistent with my therapies in order to keep my blood work at the optimum levels it needs to be. Awesome, awesome. So, Yetta is taking the therapies. She's getting ready for a competition right now currently. We're wishing her big luck, and I hope everything keeps going great. Yes, thank you so much, John. Thank you for coming in, Yetta. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right. <laughs>
special award from Tech Medical Center. It is the Spiritual Award. And we want you to know that we, we know you have a long story with him and you overcame addiction. And now this is your new addiction. So thank you for being here. We appreciate it and congratulations. Hey guys, uh, thank you guys very much for coming to the Iron Bay Classic. We appreciate everybody out here and all the competitors. Great job to all you guys. If you guys don't know what we do at Titan Medical Center, we do a variety of things from more replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, IVs, peptide therapies, primary care, and a lot, lot more. Fat burners and hair. Fat burners, <laughs> hair products, injectable biotin, so all kinds of different things. Plus, we do blood work. So it's really important for you to check your blood work, whether you're competing or not competing, be preventative about your health, especially in times like you are right now. Hey guys, I'm Cherie. Um, so we do have a wonderful multi-million dollar building that we just got in Channel Side. I would love for every single one of you guys to come and see it. We actually do blood on site, so we can draw your blood if that is the case. If not, we do service nationwide and we do telemedicine. So if you cannot make it to the office, there is no excuse. So if you want to look better, feel better, perform better, call or text us, 727-389-3220. You can visit our booth right out there, right out there to the left. And I do want to take one second here out of this to thank Jose thank you. and Sunshine, all of our people here. Thank you guys for doing the great judging you did. All of the athletes, you guys look absolutely amazing. And you guys, I know you guys do a lot of hard work. So congratulations to everybody. Big shout out to the NPC, IBD, thank you very much. Thank you guys, very great, thanks Tim, I appreciate it. Gets this super awesome suit of armor that they are presented with. John, are you presenting that? Yes, sir. John from Titan Medical. That team award goes to Team Unmatched. What's up guys? We are here at Iron Bay and like I said, our Titan athletes were out there and they performed well, better than well. They performed excellent. So we got Yetta here and we did an interview with her before. She came out of second place today, I think, second right? Second place in figure and first place overall physique. Look at that, first overall, right? So two classes, she's taking home hardware, rings, the whole nine. That's what we're doing at Titan Medical Center, making champions. And she's a true champion from the inside and the outside. We're, we're, really proud of, proud we're very proud of Yetta, very proud of Yetta. Yeah, yeah. So big shout out to Yetta May, big shout out to Iron Bay Classic and everybody that came out here and showed up and showed us. Okay, so guys aren't here joining us, make sure you guys join us next year or come to another Titan Medical Center event. I'm going to show you guys one heck of a time. Yeah. Oh yeah. John here, Big Drew with Titan Medical. We're here for some more tips and tricks to get you better results and to live a longer, healthier life. That's right, guys. One of the first things I like to do, if you've seen any of my videos, you always see me mention working out in the heat. I love the heat, not just the way it feels, Keeping your body thermogenic makes your body burn calories more, and plus it's easier on your joints. Now combine that with the vitamin D, now I'm getting a nice tan, my skin's tighter, and I'm feeling a lot better too because I can breathe a lot better outside. I love to work out outside, and again, you gotta make sure you're drinking your water while you're doing it. The outdoor activity is key, like you said. You're breathing that fresh air, you're going to different places, like you know, right now we're at the beach, and you can do a number of different things at the beach, and we can show you some of those exercises at the end, but you're just taking a walk, you're taking in nature, you're taking fresh air, and you know, it's great to work out in gyms, but it's great to work out outdoors. And like I said, you can get cardio, you can walk outside, whatever it is, but please be active, please get outside, and that's just one of the tips and tricks. Always one, and the first thing is you, is you gotta drink that water, you yeah. crack open the water, mm -hmm. first and foremost. Another thing too, as you guys see me mention in my past videos, 
Start drinking your water before you go outside. Don't wait to get outside and start chugging. It's too late by then. Hydrate your body before yeah. you go outside. Yeah. But again, working out outside on the sand is very good. Uneasy, being uneasy to, to stabilize your foot yeah. helps all those fast twitch muscles yeah. in, your, in your legs. And helps core. your abs too, yeah. yeah Just walking on the beach alone, that uneasy feeling of having to stabilize yeah. yourself, kind of like walking in the snow if you're from up north. That's right. Definitely helps your abs. So even squatting, lunges on the beach. You guys seen the movie Rocky IV where he's running in the snow? Yep. Having to run through that, the sand is the same thing. If you can find any type yeah, of deep, awesome. uneven sand, it helps great. Good for yeah. your calves too. Absolutely. Push-ups using benches, which we'll show you, and all the different things that you might have at your disposal at your local beach or park, wherever you're gonna go, because you might not always have the beach where you're at. So you gotta get creative and think about what's around you and utilize that. That's another tip and trick. And with the water, you definitely want to start your day off by drinking a glass of water. First thing in the morning to get your system flowing and get that in there. Like me and Drew said in the past, your body is over 70% water in everything from blood and organs and all that. So water is definitely the healthiest choice you can choose from the, yeah. the beginning of your day. And that's again, just like what he said, first thing in the morning, room temperature water. Yeah. Studies have shown that's the best time. Yep. Keep a bottle of room temperature. Uh, by your nightstand, so first thing you need to wake up, drink at least half of that on an empty stomach, room temperature, first thing in the morning. It kind of sets your body up to get ready for the day. Absolutely. And another tip and trick. So this one is, is you know, kind of thinking out of the box, or I mean, it's pretty simple, to be honest with you. You want to do things that are going to relax you and de-stress you, like activities like hanging out with your family and friends at the beach or somewhere fun where there's no stress around you guys. You guys can have some good, clean, fun activity. It's a de-stressor. That's healthier for the body. Uh, you want to lower cortisol levels, which, you know, that's, that's fear and, and anxiety. That's the best way to do it. Be around the people that you love and people that are important to you, especially on maybe big weekends or holidays especially. Yeah, it's that euphoric feeling when you go outside and the air and, and just the atmosphere i mean when you go to the when you go to the beach and you go to the pools you'll mingle with people that you normally wouldn't chat with yes. you see people from other areas you know what's it's that sun that vitamin d bring out yeah. that positive energy yeah. you go up north in the cold it's kind of everyone's bitter and mad <laughs> trying to get to going where they're going oh, God. you come it's down serious. here you'll be the guy from vermont you'll meet a guy from california this guy's from england everybody's just kind of mingling at the pool because everybody's just vibing in that good mood yeah. it just puts your body in a good mood the vitamin d in the air and everything yeah. you guys ever been sick for a couple weeks and all of a sudden as soon as you get outside the house you start feeling better oh yeah that's the feeling that we're talking yeah. about and that's why i love being out here you know sun is you know i mean it's a fact that it helps everything grow like plants we're, we're like them we need the sunlight we need it to live a good healthier life and that's what it's all about living a healthy lifestyle too yeah. you want to make sure that you're eating good as clean as possible non-processed foods like we talked about you're getting plenty of water like we just talked about and your diet your nutritional plan of whatever you're going to have it be yeah. needs to be on point you want to eat like a dog yeah pretty much you want to eat like a dog i saw someone mention this I don't know who it was. Maybe this guy named Mad Dog. He's a trainer. I like think it was dog. like, yeah, he pretty much says you need to eat like a dog. Uh -huh. You need to eat a scheduled portion oh. size amount at okay. the same time every day. Okay. You need to eat the same foods every day. If you look gotcha. at a dog, they eat the That's same. Right, they eat, like, say if they eat, I don't know, pedigree, dog yeah. food. They eat the, the, the green label. Yeah. They eat that same green label pedigree yeah. dog for their whole life. Yeah. Every day, they at the same time. They eat the same portion amount. They're drinking the same type of water. You need, if Once you decide to eat like a dog, that scheduled approach, yeah. That's when everything get normal. Your, your digestive tract, everything's good. Your skin, your hair, everything's good because you're consistent. You ever feed a dog a piece of food it's not used to? Right. As soon as it has that food, it uses the bathroom. It's a right. mess because it's not used to it. Right. Our bodies are the same way. Right. So if we're constantly putting food into our body that's not used to, right. our stomachs never never can really get set in that consistent that's place. True. So you want to eat like a dog, obviously not dog food, right. but the same type of food every day and the same type of water intake right. every day throughout the day. And honestly, I mean, that, that's my, my, my plan. And I, I stuck with it and it's got me amazing results along with my Titan therapy. So, you know, with that, you know, I like to eat like that. A it's lot of people plain. might. Yeah, Real I'm plain. plain. I'm plain. Yeah. And, you know, that's how I like it. But a lot of people don't. So, I mean, you can add some variety in there, but don't go too far out of the box, you know, because you're going to get off path and your body's not going to be used to it. And you already know what works or is working for you. So stay on that path to get the better results that you're looking for. Um, the next thing is activity. We've covered the number of different workouts that we've talked about. It doesn't have to be doing the workouts. It could be walking the beach, like we said. Right. You know, just being out here, going in the water. So you're going to go in salt water. A lot of people get an Epsom salt bath yeah. when they're injured or they're sore and stuff like that. The, the salt water is a natural healer too as well. So it, I was telling my son earlier, it's a part of nature. So you're, you're actually, you know, being one well with nature too at that point too. It's a good feeling. Um, it's kind of like, you know, basically 
you're meditating to a, yeah. a certain expense, you know? I mean, I always think about myself on the beach, and meditation is a good thing. Just closing your eyes and picturing yourself somewhere is gonna bring down those stress levels as well. And you can use the beach or the pool or wherever you're at because yeah. that's that's just as good. And my, always, my son asked, why can't we just go to the pool? Now, we always love to go to the pool, yeah. right? And I don't like to get sandy either all that much anymore. But being in the salt water is going to be better than being in the chemical pool. Too. Right. It's, it's healthier for your skin and all that. Or if you go in the pool, once you're in the pool, if you have access to a beach, yeah. run across the beach and just jump in the salt oh, water. So Use refreshing. that water to rinse off. Natural antioxidant, natural, yeah. you know. Yeah. And plus, if you're shaving your skin or if you have any type right. of acne problems, yeah. that salt dries everything out. Yeah. Then once you come back in the sun, yeah. it just tightens everything it's out. Like so just use the, use the ocean yeah, as like a natural rinse off if yeah. you have one available for the pool. Absolutely. Or if not, use those little shower things. A lot of people don't use those. A lot water. Of, yeah, same a lot of people thing, go to the yeah, pool or the jacuzzi and they'll just walk right past that little shower yeah. thing. You're already wet anyways. You already have your shirt. Just step underneath real quick and rinse yeah. off and then go do yeah. what you have to do. Because yeah. that stuff's sitting on your skin. Yeah. A lot of times people are so hot, they want to get inside so bad. They run inside. Now you have salt. <laughs> you have sweat sitting on your skin. You yeah. have chlorine sitting in your skin. Yeah. And then you might go another four or five hours before you shower. Just yeah. marinating yeah. in yeah. there. It's drying out too as well. Not really bad. Too much. And the last one um, is sleep. So sleep is, is essential for you to think better, for you to perform better, to you to gain muscle or recover from whatever injury or maybe you train, that is going to help you. And it's gonna help you out for the next day for brain power too as well. So if you're taking a vacation or you're going down to the beach maybe one weekend out of the couple months or whatever it is, try to open the door a little bit, hear the waves crashing to give you a nice relaxed feeling so you can fall asleep and stay asleep so you can get that good sleep and that recharging recovery sleep. Yeah. You know, and if you're not by a beach, you can get a tape or a CD or your MP3 or whatever it is or whatever the MP4 is these days and you can put that in your ear and just listen to that yeah. sleep too as well. Yeah. What do you think, Drew? That sound, sounds good to me. I mean, sleep is very, very important. Also, too, if you guys are traveling, yeah. a lot of times people get so caught up traveling. We need to pack this. We need to leave at this time. We need to check into the hotel. Make sure we have this. They do so much packing. Once they get there, they do so much unpacking. They don't have a chance to sit back and rewind. So if you're going on a, on a vacation, if you can get there a day early, yeah. just to get settled in that That's day. Nice. I do so that. that way, that way, you're not tired the whole time. Because yeah. if you're spending money, you want to actually enjoy yourself. So you're not going to go all this way. And as soon as you check in, go right to bed. Yep. So what do you do? As soon as you get there, okay, let me just you know, take my ECA and drink a coffee and just get, get right to going what I have to do. Get there a day early. That's what I do if I'm competing for a show. Yeah. That's what I like to do when I travel. Get yeah. there a day early. That way I can marinate, it's true. get used to everything, and then enjoy myself as opposed Absolutely. to as soon as I get there, go, 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 and then you leave. You can press. Yeah, and you got Less bags stress. underneath your eyes yeah. two days later. You're like, oh, I'm on vacation. I have to do what I have to have fun. You can never <laughs> catch up till you get back home. It's true. So yeah. use these tips and tricks to your advantage. A little serenity might help. Yeah. But yeah, serenity will definitely help. That's a therapy we offer. But use this for your help, your quality of life, to you live better, feel better, perform better, and just overall feel generally healthier. I mean, you will feel healthier, and that's a great feeling too. So uh, we're here at the beach. We're gonna take advantage of this beach, me and Drew. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go hit this salt water real quick and relax. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Yeah, we're gonna hit some push-ups, some dips, some water, some pool, some sun, some fun. The tight oh, yeah. way, the tight lifestyle way. So stay tuned for more tips and tricks from me and Big Drew. We love you guys, stay thank hydrated. you, and definitely stay hydrated, guys. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner segment just for you guys. So every week, me and Sharice come to you guys and we give you some insights, some tips, some tricks that will hopefully help you guys develop a stronger, more passionate, uh, you know, just a better relationship overall, right? And we want to like share this information with you guys because we went through a lot of the, probably some problems that some of you guys have went through, mm -hmm. or maybe we haven't because you know relationships are different for everybody, right? So what I my experience with Sharice, you might not have experienced, but a lot of couples actually do go through some of the exact same things, right? Some of the problems, some of the issues, some of the concerns, or some ups and downs. So this week we want to bring you a tip: what to do and a tip what not to do. Cause usually we cover like three of the exact same. So mm -hmm. we're gonna like, you know, one to like, you know. Mix it up a little mix bit. Mix it up a little bit, right? Yeah. Kind of give you a tip from each one. So the first tip is what 
to do, right? Because these to do tips, you should really be writing down for sure. Yeah, do you have a notepad? Yeah, get it right now. Yeah, if go you get don't, it. Okay? No, I'm just kidding. Sit there and just listen. <laughs> get your phone, <laughs> make a verbal note. All right, so the first one is, and we always talk about communication. Communication is key to strong relationships or any relationship or business relationship or whatever it may, may be. But the first one is, is communicate through the day. So not a lot of people are like me and Sharice and then we work together all day long. And even though that we work all day long in the exact same office or by each other most of the time, you know, we don't get to see each other sometimes as far as that goes. Yeah. Or we're just so busy, you know, it is what it is. But it's always great to communicate through the day. So whatever you're doing through the day, send your your significant other a, a nice text message like, hey, I hope your day is going good, mm -hmm. you know, or I can't wait to have dinner with you later, or I can't wait to see you later, or you can, you know, steam things up, or, you know, for the bedroom later, whatever send it may be. Send a selfie. Yeah, you can send a selfie. <laughs> you can do pretty much any of these different things. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna communicate with your partner. They're probably gonna like that. They might be having a bad day or it might make their day even better mm -hmm. by getting this communication from you guys. Um, and it builds a relationship. It keeps the relationship strong. It lets you guys know, like, listen, they're thinking about me. I'm important, which is a good thing, especially, you know, being, you know, securing women's feelings and stuff like that. Men need their feelings secured too. I, I, I guess some guys can they be insecure do. too as well. They do. It's not just females. It's true. It's true. Yeah. So, <laughs> can be. We'll never have a tilted show. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I guess you guys can both feel secure and no insecurities on either side. Exactly. Okay. So this is just a way for you guys to develop a stronger relationship, build on the communication platform that you guys already have, um, and let your partner know, hey, listen, I am thinking about you. It's, yeah. It's a I can give you guys an example because I'm good at that. So example, and it's just recent. I do these recent examples, right? Don't do it at your job. Uh, whatever, you can still do it at your job. Um, just as not long, a tight medical not center. Not a tight medical center. Yeah. <laughs> your phone's going in a bucket. That's right. Anyways, um, and that's a true statement. But, uh, you know, the other day, so me and John every day, this sounds so weird, but we drive to work together every day, just not in the same vehicle. There's many reasons we are not in the same vehicle. We won't discuss that in this episode. Well, maybe save that for another episode. But it's because I like to drive my car and he likes to drive his car, okay? We'll leave it at that. Okay. Anyways, we're in two different cars. We've been together all morning, obviously. Um, I mean, in the morning, I'm working and he's working. We might be side by side, but we're not really talking or, like, communicating or having a grand old time with each other. We're working. So, long story short, he's at in front of me at a light, right? And I'm behind him at a light. And this is in the neighborhood, so we're not too far from the house. And he sends me a text message saying, I love you, baby. Right. And I was like, oh, my heart, because it was just it was so nice. It was just it's random, you know, like not that he doesn't say he loves me because he says he loves me every day. But, you know, it's like little tiny things like that can make somebody's entire day. And it did. It made my day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I get them all the time from Sharice, too, you know, all, all the different time. times. So, all the time, every you know, day. I got to love it. So <laughs> it is a, a good way for you guys to build a relationship, strengthen the relationship and build on the communication platform. You guys should be communicating every day anyway through problems, good times, bad times. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. So that's the first tip. The second tip, right? This is what not to do. And there's a lot of things not to do in a relationship. Mm -hmm. This one in particular, do not keep score. Like a tally board? Like a tally board. Or, you know, like, you know, it's like a baseball game. Like baseball games, basketball games, football games, keep score. A key. Right? Run up the score in the competition, beat them, no mercy. In this game of love and relationships, do not keep score. And that's probably hard, right? Because it's probably something that was done wrong to you, and you're probably upset about it, and you're like, I'm going to get it back, or I'll remember this, and I'm going to get you back. Uh-oh. So at that point, like... Don't be vindictive. Yeah, it's it's being vindictive. It, 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 you know, it might make you feel better for a second, but it's not gonna it's not gonna resolve the problem. Yeah, it might actually cause long term issues. It could cause for a breakup. It could cause for a divorce. It could cause for a lot of different issues. Mm -hmm. So the biggest thing is is communicate the problem. Yep. Talk about the problem. Make the adjustments on the problem. Don't wait to try to get somebody back or do something worse to somebody that they've done to you. Yeah. 
It's easier said than done. Two wrongs don't make a right. Definitely. How many times have you heard that, though? Right. That's like an old school saying. Those old school sayings are always You're right. always right. I've learned that growing up. I... My, all those old sayings you used to hear, they're all true. Yeah, Every you were one right. You parents out there. Grandparents, <laughs> parents, older generation that made up these sayings. These sayings came down. They're all true. So don't keep score. You know, if, if, some, if your partner has done something wrong and they have apologized or... It's up to your standard of the apology. Accept the apology. Move on and make things better. Don't dwell on it. Don't keep score of like, well, you did this, so I'm going to do this. Yeah. You did that. I'm going to do this. Or yeah. I can't wait. Watch. Wait. Wait till you see what I do. <laughs> right? Yeah. Wait till you see. I'm going to get. I'm going to get away. Just wait. Oh, ah. I see it all, guys. <laughs> I see this all. Okay. So you don't want to see this and you don't want to go through this in a relationship. Yeah. It just causes a lot of stress, a lot of drama. It's better to communicate, be adults, be mature and move on whatever direction it's going But listen, be. guys and girls out there, okay? If you are in this situation and let's just say you are happen to be a vindictive individual, I may be a little vindictive at times. Um, you know, not with John all the time. Now, maybe back in the day, I was a little vindictive, <laughs> you know. We had to keep score back in the day, you know. But I don't anyways, keep score. Uh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, if you did do something wrong to your significant other, just remember that things don't happen overnight where they're going to be totally okay with it the next day, right? So it's, you know, you might have to make up some time. So take these tips and use them for your benefits, guys. Don't go through the problems if you don't have to and make sure you can make the relationship as best as possible on your side. You guys have the power ultimately and you guys control your destiny. So this has been another Cupid's Corner with me and Sharice. Yes. Anything else? Mm, no, just listen to what we say. Tune back in. <laughs> every week for a new Cupid's Corner and we'll bring you guys great tips, tricks, and way to enhance your relationship. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week. See ya.